Have you ever wondered how active your active exhaust really is? Well, today in the 604 Garage, we're going to do our best to find out. All right, welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking active exhaust or NPP and what do those valves in there actually do? How do they operate? So you have a selector, you know, somewhere in your car, probably on your console that selects between track mode, sport mode, touring mode. Some people have snow and ice mode like they do on the Camaro. What do those valves actually do when you select different modes? So today we're gonna do our best to find out. That means we're gonna maybe sacrifice the GoPro here it may have a hard time trying to keep up with what we're trying to film, but let's uh, find out and I'll show you exactly how I'm going to rig this up in a second. But there are many thoughts out there as to what this system actually does. Does it simply change the position of the valve when you go from touring to sport and open it up a little bit more to get a bit more sound? And then when you go to track, it opens it up all the way. Does it simply allow the system to open up earlier when you go to wide open throttle in those different modes? So is touring mode, you know, later in the RPM range? Is sport mode a little earlier? Is track mode a little earlier? These are some of the th thoughts out there, but what does that system actually do? I believe it does a lot more than that, and I actually will tell you a little bit of a backstory why I think that. So ever since the last few months or so, I've developed a little squeak in my car, and I can hear it with the windows down, and it's when I'm shifting gears, up shifting and down shifting. And I thought originally it was something to do with the transmission or the clutch mechanism or in the clutch itself because it's every single time I shift. However, it is not the case. I believe it's the active exhaust. I believe those valves are making noise and I believe they are doing a lot more than what people think. So without further ado, let's get to the test. Okay, so here's my not so scientific test rig here. I've got a flashlight zap strap to my GoPro all aiming down the tailpipe. It's not easy to light up that tailpipe to see what that valve's actually doing. And of course, if you're gonna do something like this, make sure you have a tether of some sort because I wouldn't trust that suction cup mount 100% and you wanna keep that GoPro safe. So hopefully the GoPro and the flashlight will handle a face full of exhaust. So let's go see what that active exhaust is actually doing. How active is it? All right, well, this first test here will be going up and down through the gears, up shifting, down shifting, light throttle, basic driving conditions. I'm gonna try it in touring mode and I'm gonna try it in sport mode and let's see if there's any difference in how those valves behave. And of course, all these tests are gonna be done on my 2018 Camaro 2SS 1LE. This is GM's NPP exhaust system. This is the factory system. It's probably the same on a Corvette or any other vehicle in GM's lineup that has the same system. It may not be the same for other manufacturers. I know Mopar, I know Ford, they have similar active systems. You might wanna do some testing of your own to check that out. That would be pretty cool to see.
test now is going to be in second gear around 2000 rpm i'm going to roll heavily into the throttle the wide open throttle and we're going to see in touring mode sport mode and track mode how those valves behave do they open up at different rates or earlier in the rpm range So the next day we're back in the garage we just escaped the rain with that test but let's do a little recap on the data so number one in touring mode the system is basically numb when I upshift and I downshift the system does nothing the valves basically stay completely closed in sport mode the system is the exact opposite of touring mode it is extremely active it opens and closes with every upshift and downshift and those are those squeaks I was hearing as I was driving that's why I thought hey there's got to be more to the system than that and in track mode, which we didn't get a chance to fully test during normal driving conditions, the system does operate just like sport mode for the most part. Wide open throttle, what did we learn with that? Wide open throttle, the, all three modes are almost the same. I didn't see a considerable difference between touring mode, sport mode, or track mode as to when the valves open or when in the RPM range the valves actually open. So for me, at least in this test, they look to be operating exactly the same during wide open throttle. And the final point here is the GoPro absolutely hates the heat of the exhaust. During this test, it had the overheat warning multiple times. Of course, I'd like to do more testing in snow and ice mode to see if there's any difference, although I think it's going to be the same as touring mode. And I would have liked to do more testing in track mode, but that wasn't happening. The GoPro was having none of that. So the last point is watch out for your GoPro if you're doing a test like this. If you have a Mopar or if you have a Ford and you want to do a test like this, Keep an eye on that GoPro because it will not enjoy the heat from the exhaust. Well, that's the end of this video. I hope you learned something informative, educational. I learned a little bit more about what your MPP or your active exhaust is actually doing. And remember, subscribe if you like the content. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Take care.